Y'all get ready? Yes, you get Y'all ready. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your teacups ready because this tea is what? Piping hot. Hey, you guys, it's your girl T. So I wanted to come out here and bring you some Kardashian tea. So if you guys do not know, Khloe Kardashian was spotted in Cleveland at the Town Hall restaurant with none other than Tristan Thompson, okay? So of course the internet is going nuts behind this and they're like, you know, Chloe's stupid. Why is she still with him? You know, everybody has an opinion, honey, okay? So anyways, I want you guys to go ahead and check out this video of Chloe dining with Tristan Thompson. Go ahead and check this out. All right, so you guys just saw that video. Now, on top of that, as we all know, Kim Kardashian stopped following Tristan Thompson. She also spoke about the situation with Ellen, and also Kris Jenner also spoke about the situation as well concerning Chloe. So I want you guys to go ahead and check out both of these videos, and I'm gonna come back with the rest of my commentary. I, I mean, I think everybody was heartbroken for her. I mean, literally days before she gives birth, um, her uh, boyfriend is is seen on video uh, cheating, and uh, so you, I, I, you have opinions about that? <laughs> like I don't even know how to describe it. Besides, it's just so f up. Like, yeah. like it's I, it's, yeah, I, and she's doing the best that she can. It's a really sad situation all over. Um, I kind of made this rule with my brother. If there's a baby involved, I'm not gonna talk. I'm gonna like keep it cute and keep it classy and not talk too bad. Well, not, I, I'm gonna try not to say anything so negative because one day True is gonna see this mm -hmm. and you know, it's just, it's so messed up. As a mom, Chloe is a uh, Amazing. I'm so proud of that kid. Good. Yeah. Good. I get choked up because she's such she's such a good mom. And honestly, it makes me it gets so emotional because I was just I was in Cleveland last week and it was snowing and she was all nestled in in the nursery and the baby and she's just concentrating on that. Just being a mom, good. her baby, and I think that's what her sisters are doing as well. So we're all just, she's so excited about motherhood and trying to get the nursing thing down, which is a little tricky. And She hasn't know, gotten it down yet? Well, she's trying. She's really trying. I understand that's very hard. It, yeah, it is. They don't just go right no. to it and no. latch on. No, so that was, that was a little bit tricky when I was there. And so, you know, she's, Figuring it out one day at a time, and she's just the best mom already, and that baby is so cute. That's great. Little true. I mean, you, you but as a mom, let's just take mm -hmm. the whole, like, you know, your, your television show aside. Right. Everything aside. You know, it's your daughter, and, and she's about to have a baby. And right. Literally, I mean, and, and d any day. Right. Then that video comes out of him. Mm -hmm. I mean, you must... You know, and and also including the show because you're like, what are you, like, what are you doing to my daughter? Number one, like, you must have been furious. I think we do what we always do, and that's spring into action with love, and we all hopped on a plane and flew to Cleveland because that's what. Let's just take mm -hmm. the whole like, you know, your your television show aside, and and she's about to have a baby. And right. Literally, I mean, and and d any day. Right. Then that video comes out of him. Mm -hmm. I mean, you must, you know, and and also including the show because you're like, what are you, like, what are you doing to my daughter? Number one, like, you must have been furious. I think we do what we always do, and that's spring into action with love, and we all hopped on a plane and flew to Cleveland because that's what we know to do. We just. I'm there to support my kids no matter what happens. And I just do the best I can, just like anybody else would for their family, yeah. you know? And so we all kind of do it. There's a lot of us, you know? So there's, we all, <laughs> we all get together and we, we do things uh, together and we're, uh, we're forced to be reckoned with. So we get there and we're like supporting her and she gave birth probably within hours after us arriving. It was crazy. It was very exciting though. Well, 
Well, it looks like the sister and the mother have both spoken, okay? But in my personal opinion, I'm not shocked at all that Chloe's back with him. You guys have to realize, at the end of the day, you know, these are these people's relationships. We're not involved in them. And how many of y'all have taken back a cheating dog, okay? Like I tell people all the time, these people are human beings just like us. How many of y'all been cheated? Hell, you got some folks who've been treated worse than that. You know what I'm saying? And they've taken them back. You got some guys out here who don't even have no money. They don't got a pot to piss in. They're cheating on their girlfriend. They're, you know, putting their girlfriend through hell. And then these girls would take them back. Why are you shot when a celebrity woman does the same thing that so many normal women do all the time? You know, I'm not surprised at all that she wants to make it work with her baby's father. They just had a child. This is her first child. She doesn't want to go through this alone. So she feels like, you know what? You know, he cheated. You know, there's all this infidelity. Supposedly the side chick is pregnant. But if Chloe feels the need to work it out, that's Chloe and Tristan's business that's for her to forgive him but I just hope that she realizes that he's not going to stop his cheating ways the same way she got with him you know what I'm saying by her being the side piece you know what I mean he's going to keep doing the same thing so as long as she's okay with that and she's prepared for that mentally you know she's not going to leave that relationship until she's super hurt or super tired so in the meantime all we can do is just sit back and sip tea and watch how everything plays out but for now it's being confirmed that they are still together she's staying in their home that they share together and they're raising their daughters now now, one thing I do find funny about this whole Khloe Kardashian situation is that Wendy Williams seems rather pressed about Khloe making her decision to stay with Tristan. Now, what I find funny about that is Wendy Williams wants to call Khloe Kardashian pathetic, and she's entitled to her opinion, of course. But again, let's not forget, just a few months ago, your business was on Fun Street, Wendy. Your husband, Kevin, <laughs> had not only been cheating on you, He's been carrying on a 10-year affair with his side chick. She's walking around here with fucking engagement rings. She looks to be pregnant. You know what I'm saying? By your logic, Wendy, can we not say the same thing about you? How you doing? How you like them apples? So, like I said, I'm not surprised at all. You got regular women who put up with the same thing and allow their cheating boyfriends to come back. So, again, this is why I say celebrities are nothing but human beings and they make a lot of the same decisions that we ourselves know that we shouldn't make but we put up with and we make those decisions regardless because sometimes that's just how the heart is. The way that your logic thinks versus the way that your heart thinks are two different things and sometimes we leave with our hearts and unfortunately that can end up burning us in the end. But again, everybody has to live their life and take their bruises and bumps and then take that testament and make it a damn testimony, okay? So we'll see how everything plays out, but I'm not shocked in the least, okay? So now another Kardashian, well, she's not really a Kardashian and she's suffering for not really truly being a Kardashian, okay? Had Black China played her damn cards right, her ass would be straight right now because she'd be, you know, Renee White Kardashian. But because Black China won't close her damn vagina, you know what I mean? Rob Kardashian was like, fuck that. You're not gonna be out here just fucking everybody and then you wanna be my wife. Black China, close your vagina! So basically what's going down with Black China is this. Now it's being stated that she's not pregnant, which I said in the other video, I said, you know, there's a chance that she may not be pregnant because as we all know, Black China is an attention whore and she will let shit ride and ride just to get attention and just to get views. So I'm not surprised. Now her peoples are coming out saying that she's not pregnant as if they couldn't have said the same thing a few days ago when she was trending all over social media. So they knew what they were doing. They were just trying to create a buzz. But anyhow, they're saying that basically Black China's stock has totally tumbled now that she has no connections to the Kardashians before she was used to doing club appearances and making like 15 to 30 grand per appearance and especially she was with Rob they were making bank but now that Black China has no ties to that family and that family don't fuck with her at all and she's you know basically reduced to dating an 18 year old rapper um basically now her club appearance fees are anywhere from two thousand to seven thousand dollars and one club owner said he would not pay her over two thousand dollars and she has no other marketable skills you know besides shaking her ass and fucking so basically now she's stuck in this rut so this entire situation is crazy i'm gonna go ahead and read to you guys this article from tmz concerning black china so tmz is reporting they're saying that black china's value has plummeted at clubs across america the reason is simple her wagon has been unhitched from the kardashians black china turns 30 next week and we're told that she spread the word to promoters that she's available for club bookings we did a little digging to find out Black China's earning power has fizzled since breaking up with Rob Kardashian. The numbers are staggering. Black China went from being paid 30K not too long ago in her heyday with Rob and company to now struggling to even snag 7,000 per gig. That's what several top club promoters in Cali told us. It gets worse. One promoter said that he wouldn't pay her a penny more than 5K because China without Rob is like Sonny without Cher. 
A top Miami promoter said the max that he shell out to her is 2K because she's not relevant anymore. Honey, when I tell you TMZ be spilling that damn tea, okay? So, I mean, that whole situation is crazy. So, Black China needs to find something else to do. The damn Kardashian gravy train is over. I hope she invested her money. I hope she bought businesses. I mean, I know she had her lash line and she had her little lash business. I don't know how well that's doing because I haven't heard her promote that at all in almost a year now. So, it's going to be very, very interesting to see where she goes from here now that she doesn't have that whole Kardashian bandwagon behind her. So, anyways, y'all, let's go ahead and get the discussion popped. And go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy situation concerning one, Chloe going back to Tristan Thompson trying to work it out, and then two, Black China not being able to ride that Kardashian gravy train all the way to the club. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right, deuces. <laughs> Hey you guys, it's your girl T and I hope you really enjoyed that video. If you want to know more about my look of the day or if you want a way to contact me concerning advertisement and sponsorship deals, definitely feel free to click my description box. There's plenty of information in there. Please stay tuned for the next video. Talk to y'all later.